Okay, today we're working in uh, Blender 2.5, 2.56 to be exact, and uh, we're going to be taking our first look at uh, actually writing out a little Python script to interact with Blender. Uh, in the last tutorial I showed you the little secret of pulling this down to get uh, your Python code and inputting that into a Python console, but this time we're actually going to write out a code uh, in the text editor that you can uh, manipulate and run at certain points. We're going to keep it very basic. It's only going to be like four lines of code. Uh, so let's start up a new project here. And I'm going to delete this default cube. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. You can see the command already for the cube I deleted. We'll hit spacebar and type in cube, hit enter, and here's our code for our cube. Let's right click that. Once again, ignore the little glitches where everything disappears. It will reappear once you click in those areas. We'll hover the cursor over this while it's highlighted in blue, and we'll hit Control C to copy it. We'll come back down this way, and we're kind of done with up there for now, so we'll move that back up, and we'll change this little window here to be a text editor. And I'll also delete this default cube, or the cube that we just added. I'm going to hit Control Up to make the text editor full screen and I'm going to say new and I'm going to hit control V to paste in the code we just copied from that little information bar. We're going to clean it up but first let's click this AB button right here and what that does it will color code our uh, our script here making things easier to read and just as I showed you in the previous tutorial we're going to erase the stuff that we don't need for adding a cube. Right now all we care about is the location and the rotation We'll remove all of that. Okay. Now, as we mentioned before, this first part, this object right here, we're creating a uh, Blender Python object. So we need to import uh, BPY, Blender Python. So we imported that module. Now let's create a variable. We'll say x equals 1. And then we're going to create a while loop. If we say while x is less than, we'll say 20, we'll say colon there, and then we have to indent this, one, two, three, four, and I really hope that you're familiar with Python before you try jumping into this, and Python is uh, very strict about uh, indentations, that's how it knows where loops and if statements begin and end. So here it's going to loop and create this cube a number of times. Uh, and right now it will loop forever because x will always be less than 20. So let's make x plus equal 1. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go 1 for now, see how that looks. Uh, so it will loop you know, 20 times, each time adding 1 to x. So x will be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. It will just extremely fast. You won't actually see it on the screen. And let's put x into... Um, the values of location and rotation of both the x location, which is left and right movement, and the re rotation on x and or on the x axis. So that's our whole code. Uh, so now let's hit Control and down arrow to make that not full screen anymore. And let's pull this out though, so we can reach our little Run button here. And you can see in the text there you have a Run Script button. We'll click that, and boom! Look in our 3D view here. We just create a bunch of cubes that have been rotated. They're all individual objects that we can now grab and move. But you can see that they all moved one blender unit and each time they also rotated one blender unit. And uh, let's just select everything and delete everything here and look back at our code here. Once again I'll hover over the uh, text editor here let me pull this back out a little bit more. And we'll hit up arrow. And, uh, you know, we can put X in other sections here so we can rotate it on the Z axis as well. Oops, put an X there. And we'll do the same on the uh, Z location there. Control down arrow and we'll click run to run that script. And boom, now not only is it moving over and rotating. Uh, head over heels, it's rotating, or uh, moving upwards and rotating left and right or around. 
So once again, very simple look at uh, uh, Python. I'm taking it slow because I'm kind of learning it myself as we go along. Uh, but there's a simple little script to add multiple boxes and different locations and rotations just using a simple variable that we add to. So uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. There's a link in the description to this post where I'll have a sample Blender file, this one right here with the Python script saved in it. And um, you can download it, play with it, comment here or there or in the forum, anywhere you'd like. Chat with us on IRC on Freenode. The channel is Films by Chris. It's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.